and welcome to another week with Mary's Dream Time Messages. How was your week last week? Um, the two cards that we pulled up last week were with um, the Rainbow Serpent, I Am Light, and with the Emu, I Am Wise. So you probably would have had a pretty um, fast pace, uh, could have been a bit full on. Um, um, because you were really understanding, um, if you, uh, took the action to do with last week and put some time aside to do some of the creative, um, exercises that I mentioned from last week, then you would have realized that your light is becoming more stronger and you, uh, um, this exercise was enabling the nurturing of your light um, to come out more. And so this would have been connected through um, something that relates to, with the emu there, culture, understanding more about how this works for you through your culture maybe it's to do with your work it could be related to nature the animals or the land as well and um, so finding out some more information to do with that and understanding that that's a role and responsibility that is uh, that helps you to bring this um, powerful creativity out in you more and so, um, yeah, this can really pave a way for a lot of changes and for fulfillment from within. So I hope you had such a really good week with those two. So here is the Dreamtime card deck and you've got your 85 page booklet with all your 33 glossy cards of all the Australian animals on the back. And um, on the front. And all and the uh, white cockat famous white cockatoos on the back, and so just uh, every time you use your cards before or after, just use some incense or dried eucalyptus leaves, and this will keep them, um, you know, just um, help you in removing any negativity or anything that's um, not uh, serving you, and it just helps you to get the most accurate guidance every time you use your cards they could just be for inspiration positivity but um you know uh, i pull out two cards every week to keep us motivated inspired and also um, focused on our goals which can help us to make the transformations that we're looking for and when we can um, delve deeper into these situations uh, through taking action steps then it helps us to grow even more and it gets us closer to the dreams and what we're wanting to achieve in life it could be more to do with spending time with family um, wanting to bring out more of our creativity um, into the world it could be um, changing your job whatever it will be um, these will help you these cards will help you. So the first card that we pulled this week is with Eagle I Am Calm, giving us the message that when I stop for a moment to breathe, I can reach a better perspective of my situation when I am calm and make important decisions with ease. So usually when we get the Eagle, it could be a pretty fast-paced week coming up. But that's okay. Um, Eagle is telling us that there may be a lot of decisions coming up this week so just don't rush and just take everything one step at a time and uh, and we will get to the answer that is best for us. So if we go to the guidebook and Eagle is number eight and it gives us the action step that your soul is going to thrive by taking action to be open about a clear vision for your future that will lead you to your dream. Now's a great time to create a vision board if you don't already have one in order to focus more on the speed and insight. Just a minute. Hang on a minute. That's, um, sorry. I went to the wrong page. So. 
underneath that. So the action step for the eagle is you need to pause for a moment, get a better perspective before taking action and carefully consider your next move and take some time to understand what is the best option for you at this time. There is no need to rush, just allow yourself to contemplate your next move. This is an important time to trust in the next progress of your evolution. So whatever it is that you're going to be deciding this week is really going to contribute to what happens later down on down the track just try to remember there's nothing there's no mistakes that you can make it's just a constant uh, step by step of growth so just try not to be in too much of a hurry and you will get to exactly where you're wanting so focus on the choices of priority at this time that need your attention and remember not to get distracted. So yeah, I find that what's very helpful is what needs to be decided first and what needs to be last. So whatever is not a priority, just put that back in the line. So the negative, you could be feeling unmotivated, unsure or distracted. So try to, um, the positive that can come out of Eagle is there's timely decisions that need to be made. Just careful consideration and maybe write down a plan. So that's the message for Eagle. Now let's see the next card that we're going to get for this week. That's going to really help us um, focus on those... Um, tight little uh, strategies that can help us to move forward with more ease and this I can't believe we got this one again with the Barramundi I am dreaming and it's telling us the message that when I explore my family roots everything becomes clearer to me and I gain more and more knowledge of myself so um, Barramundi helps us to get a lot more out of our dreaming and understand it really in a concentrated level. So if we go to number 20 is the card on page 51. And the action step this week with Barramundi is telling us to spend some time with family and have a meal to celebrate this connection and information that will come by doing so. There's some important information that will come that could come this week that's related to your culture. And the information gained by this experience will enable you to change, evolve and gain something that previously became lost to you. Only you will know what it is, but the most important qualities that you can give yourself right now is to have trust in the reconnection back to family again. The po um, negative, you could be feeling lost, or there's a disbelief in your direction, and you're feeling misunderstood. So the Barramundi can help you to make the family connections that you need again in order to gain some clarity so you can celebrate your life more. Um, sometimes understanding a lot more about our family can help us. Sometimes this understanding, it's not good and it's not bad, like the situation could be negative or it could be very, very positive. But whatever the information comes, you will gain uh, a transformation or knowledge that's very important to you on an individual on, on an individual level. So, and this will contribute to your dreaming. It's like getting a piece of the puzzle that you've been missing that will be coming back to you this week. It could be in the form of information um, that you find out about your family tree. It could be about um, uh, a plan to spend some time with family later down the track that could reveal something to you that you thought uh, wasn't there and has come back to you. So um, that's basically what Barramundi uh, is letting us know that there's something there that you're going to understand and gain by doing so. And so these are the two cards that came up this week uh, for you with Eagle. I am calm so remember I to remain calm this week through any decision, important decisions that need to be made. And with Barramundi, I am dreaming. 
Remember there's a piece that's coming back to you now or something that's going to get healed in uh, relation to you and if it's, ha if it's not already then it will be coming very soon. So I hope you have a wonderful week with these two and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.